filming. Okay, my name is Jan Willem van der Schans. I'm a researcher at Wageningen University and I'm also uh, in the port of uh, Urbania Hoeven. And this is the case that I'm going to explain to you in a couple of minutes. Uh, Urbania Hoeven is a social design lab for urban agriculture. Uh, it runs uh, uh, um, uh, productive urban landscapes on locations in several cities in the Netherlands, Rotterdam, The Hague, and Amsterdam. I'm going to talk about a location in Amsterdam West. Um, the idea is that uh, um, uh, uh, as compared to other uh, urban agriculture projects, this is about permanent urban uh, green infrastructure. So it's not about uh, uh, temporary locations, but it's about uh, permanent locations. And if we talk about policy, which is the issue of this presentation, uh, then in uh, the earlier days, we could say that uh, uh, this type of uh, intervention in public space was uh, sponsored by uh, uh, cultural institutes, art institutes, uh, one in particular that was important was the food, the footprint program in uh, with an uh, architect uh, institute in the Hague, Strom, uh, and uh, they were uh, interested in this new way of managing urban uh, green space, and uh, they were supporting it a lot. But then came the crisis in the Netherlands; all the funding in cultural institute went down, and uh, Urbania who had to uh, find other uh, streams of income to to. Uh, uh, continue with their uh, projects and uh, they have been, uh, especially also in Amsterdam but also in The Hague, they've been uh, busy with uh, finding uh, public support from the district level, so it's not the municipal level but uh, it's the, the district level, the neighborhood level and at the neighborhood level there, are, there, there were some funds in the social domain, social cohesion and social participation. So what now happens and what is the big uh, storyline is that uh, coming from uh, uh, a situation where you are an, uh, uh, an artist, an autonomous artist, suddenly you have to apply for funds that have a very functional, strictly uh, policy goal. So like count the number of ethnic women that are participating in your workshop and then you get the money rather than you have a vision about how cities should be and how urban uh, uh, landscape in the city should be designed. So uh, that is uh, one of the dilemmas. The other is that if you move into the neighborhoods, you find allies and competitors, and you don't probably know the first time that you meet them what they are. So uh, Urbania Hoeve for uh, this particular project in Amsterdam uh, Near West, the, the Foodscape Wildeman, they had to rely on a couple of local groups uh, for um, uh, getting the connection with the neighborhood. In particular is ASW, Amsterdam Steunpunt Wonen, and uh, also another one. The beach. The beach. The beach. And, um, and, 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 you get, um, and you get the problems with, you know, like the nitty gritty of, okay, there is this uh, functional policy goal, it's strictly defined, and uh, as a, an autonomous artistic practice, how do you deal with that? That's uh, one of the big issues. On a positive note, we should say that um, I'm in the board, so we had a couple of discussions about this, how to reinvent your social practice. Uh, in, uh, on the positive side is that there are still uh, new artistic movements, bottom-up movements that they are related to, and uh, maybe you can uh, reframe uh, your social practice, not so much in terms of social cohesion and participation, but in terms of leisure and health. So there is a new project coming up where this is a redevelopment of a sports facility in Amsterdam and you could make the sports facility edible. So uh, that's uh, uh, on the positive side. It's uh, about continuously reinventing who you are and what you do and where you can connect to for funding. That's basically, I would say, uh, is the story of uh, Urbania and the New West uh, Amsterdam uh, project. Thank you for your attention. Great. Thank you very much.